Welcome everyone. I want to share with you today what I've been working on this past week in the garden. I've been working on the walking paths. Here's a quick preview of the progress I have so far. There's still more to go. This is where the butterflies they will have their home. Every day there is work to do. So I'm working on the butterfly path, slowly but surely, cleaning it out. Um, you guys know this area had stuff in it, but it was no organization. It was just random stuff I threw together. So now I am more focused on putting nectar plants and shrubbery for the butterflies to be able to hide in the birds. What I did was bring the pots over here that I have my cranberry hibiscus in because I want to see how they'll look once I plant them in the ground along this path. I also brought the um, Mexican sunflower over. The Mexican sunflower will grow extremely tall and wide. So I want to make sure I have enough space. If not, I will have to keep it trimmed. Another cranberry hibiscus. Remember I topped it. And once I topped it, it started sending out these side shoots. And that's what I'm going to do with the ones on to my right. And this is Mexican petunia. And it will start spreading in this area as well. These marigolds that I planted from seeds. And remember this cranberry hibiscus? I topped this too. It was tall as me. Once I topped it, it started sending out these side shoots. So I'll top it again because I really want this plant to be bushy. What's going to be cool about this um, cranberry hibiscus is in the fall, it will put out the pink hibiscus flowers, which will provide nectar for the butterflies. So I'm going to trim and try to state these hibiscus over here because I don't know, gravity may be causing them to lean back, but I keep pulling them forward and they keep leaning back. So I'm going to cut them again to my shoulder and then I'm going to get some stakes so that I can train them to start growing straight up. But these are the stepping stones that I purchased on Saturday and I'm debating between pine bark or gravel along the walking paths, whichever one is more affordable. That's what I'm looking towards. Um, I know for certain that I can get a cubic yard of pine chips for $30 so that will more than cover up this area another section branching off from the walking path that I've been working on with the butterfly plants and I have the black eyed Susan and I have some zinnias that I relocated from a pot that I started from a seed I have pintas I have the um, lantanas as well as the corpses plants. I have some rue for the swallowtails. I added the mimosa, which is the tickle me plant. And this is a ground cover that people like to um, plant in Florida. And it'll spread, but it also has a beautiful purple flower that the butterflies love. I added the cassia plant over here looking out for caterpillars because this is also a butterfly plant and I do see some chewing on the leaves and I do see a caterpillar right there. It's going to be interesting. Remember the popcorn cassia plant? Well, I purchased this tree because I wanted the sulfur cloudless butterfly to lay its eggs on it and then the babies of it will eat this tree leaves. That's the sole purpose of me purchasing this tree and I added it to the butterfly garden. It has tons of caterpillars on it now. Here is the pipe vine plant, which also has a different variety of swallowtail cater caterpillars on it. Pintas for the um, butterfly nectar, violas 
over here is the milkweed and there probably are tiny caterpillars on here um the monarch laid eggs on it saturday so if they hatched i probably can't see them yet but i have some more milkweed here cleaning out that bed because i'm removing it from this area to plant more butterfly plants and that's a nectar plant I, some rescue plants that i got and then i have the butterfly um bird bath in the center i need to add sand to that for the puddler so this is what i've been working on the past few days i really wanted to get those plants out of the pots and into the the butterfly section because they were drying out and i didn't want to kill the plants especially majority of them were on clearance so when you come off of this area it'll lead you down the butterfly path i'm still cleaning up this area on the side the reason why i haven't completed it and i'm doing it in, in section is because i'm making sure there's no caterpillars with their chrysalis on these plants i did find one over here on the banana plant so i'm being very careful and just working it a section at a time and plus it's a lot of work it's hot it's raining every day so i can only do what i can do in the amount of time that i could do it so i just wanted you guys to know what i've been working on the garden is growing so i figured in the meantime while the garden is growing that i would get out here and work on the butterfly section before i start the fall section because i still have to do my seed starts and i'll bring you along i'll bring you guys along with me when i start planting the seeds but it's just a quick update thanks for watching like the video comment and subscribe if you're not already a member of the channel and hit the notification bell so you can stay current on what's growing on in my garden have a wonderful day